Hello everyone. Welcome to the 27th lecture of the course. In the previous lecture, we completed sharing the content of the course and now we'll sum up all that we have discussed in the course in this lecture as well as the next lecture. We saw that the basic human aspiration is continuity of happiness and that is fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling and right thought. And we explored about right feeling and right thought called as resolution and we looked at the nine components of resolution. In the whole course of discussion, if you see, we could conclude that the self is central to human existence and coexistence is central to this existence. And with this clarity, we also discussed about the participation of the human being in the entire existence and called it as human conduct. Now we'll revisit the content that we have shared, try to recapitulate it and also sum up all that we have shared so far. So we'll sum up the whole thing now. So we could see that the human desire, that is the basic aspiration is continuity of happiness and it is the need of the self. And it is fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling and right thought, which is an activity of the self. Right feeling and right thought put together is called as resolution. And we could see that resolution is the clarity of these nine components. And we could see that resolution is basically the clarity of the nine components, starting from right understanding, then wisdom, science, behavior, work, participation in the larger order, undivided human society, universal human order, and human tradition. And we also had discussed that whatever we identify in terms of human goal at the level of wisdom is congruous to, is congruent to the human tradition. And this is the way we try to verify also whether the human goal is fulfilled or not. Now, right understanding, wisdom and science put together can be called as talent. Right understanding and wisdom is something to be ensured in block B1. That is the block of right understanding or knowing. And science is something to be made out in block B2 in the imagination. Now, this is followed by behavior, work and participation in the larger order. And this is where the self and the body both are involved. And finally, when it goes to society, it could be understood in terms of undivided society, universal human order and human tradition. And this is the expression outside, right? So there is something which is to be accomplished at the level of self, that is 3.1 to 3.3. Then there is something that goes as expression with the help of body. And then finally it is expressed outside and it is evident outside in the society in terms of 3.7 to 3.9. And then we can make out whether what is going as human tradition is congruent with the wisdom or not. So this is one important conclusion from this course that self is central to human existence. We could see that self is a conscious entity, body is a material entity. The needs of the self are entirely different from the needs of the body. The activities are entirely different from those of the body. And the response is also different. There is activity assuming in the self which is not there in the body and also the self has the potential to know. Also, we could see that the self is the seer, doer and enjoyer, isn't it? And you could see that ultimately it is the self which is central to the human existence and body is used merely as an instrument. So the need of the self is continuous happiness, which is fulfilled by understanding coexistence and having the feeling and thought of coexistence. Understanding coexistence is something which is called as knowledge and the feeling and thought based on this is called as resolution. And this is expressed naturally in the form of mutually fulfilling behavior with the human being, mutually enriching work with the rest of nature and participation in the larger order. And when you go to participate in the larger order, so outside we can see as an expression, as an evidence, as an authentication, as an authentication of our right understanding in terms of undivided society and universal human order. And this goes from one generation to another generation in the form of human tradition. So this is one important takeaway from this course. Earlier we had of course discussed that human being is coexistence of self and body in the previous course. But with the discussion that we had in this course, we could conclude that it is ultimately the self which is central to human existence. Now, another thing that you can draw from here as a conclusion that and something that was pointed out during the course also. So essentially, if you see the purpose of life is to develop the self, 
isn't it? So the self is a conscious entity. It is a continuous entity, and the body is merely an instrument. So we utilize the physical facilities for the body, and the body is utilized by the self. Purpose being development of the self, so that we are able to awaken to the activities of contemplation, understanding, and realization. This is another thing which is associated with this. I hope you could see this while you are discussing the inputs in the course. So, development in the self is ensured through resolution based on right understanding, and right understanding essentially means that we are able to awaken to the activities of contemplation, understanding, and realization. And this is a process also, isn't it? and what is the meaning of awakening to the activity of contemplation so we are able to see the natural characteristic of all the units which are there as four orders in the nature understanding means we are able to see the innateness and realization means we are able to see the coexistence this natural characteristics uh, this natural characteristic uh, reflects as relationship and innateness is the same as harmony and this development can be viewed as unfolding of the higher activities the activities of contemplation understanding and realization of the self as shown in the next few slides now there is something that we elaborated upon quite in detail we looked at all the activities of the self and we try to relate this particular discussion with the activities of the self so there is self development through resolution which is based on right understanding and development in understanding in the self is ensured through resolution based on right understanding and when you go to rightly understand there are three things to be ensured so one is knowledge of the human being then knowledge of the existence and knowledge of human conduct and human conduct is essentially the participation of human being in this existence so we can see that all that has to be known can be made out very clearly it is not something indefinite it is not something infinite it is something very definite and can be made out can be clearly analyzed discussed taught and understood isn't it so if you look at the self development you will see that understanding of human being reveals that the self development can be viewed as unfolding of the higher activities of the self that is the activities of contemplation understanding and realization and this is something that we kept on referring to if you remember we kept on referring to the activities of the self throughout the course and we kept on referring to these activities of contemplation understanding and realization and i hope by now it is clear to you what do these words mean and what we are trying to relate these words to so this is the process of self development initially we were here somewhat living as an animal when we were only operating at the level of expectation now with some development we are able to activate these three activities of desire thought and expectation but still uh, the content is not definite because the desire thought and expectation may be misguided misled by preconditioning or sensation the actual transformation begins when we are able to activate the activities of block b1 and it starts with contemplation so we are able to contemplate on the relationship that is the participation in the larger order going further we are able to activate the activities of understanding and determination and finally we are able to realize the whole existence as coexistence the same gets authenticated so this is the actual development of the human being okay when we are able to develop the self you can see that ultimately the purpose of life is to develop the self develop the higher activities of the self body is a mere instrument in the process and the more we are able to work for this the happier we feel because our imagination gets free from contradictions dilemmas conflicts isn't it all these issues are there because you are not able to contemplate on the relationship you are not able to understand the harmony you are not able to see the coexistence and that's why these problems are there so essentially if you see we have been working to this is the core purpose of the course all these courses in human values are essentially meant to ensure this kind of transformation this kind of development and this is possible only through self exploration and self verification so the same thing has been shown here now this is the state of animal consciousness where we are able to work only at the level of desire thought and expectation and these are dictated by preconditioning or sensations and that's how the comparing is unguided the testing is also unguided and that's how the behavior work and participation are not fulfilling all the time 
so you feel sometimes happy sometimes unhappy or mostly unhappy sometimes we are able to ensure prosperity but mostly we feel deprived and sometimes you contribute to the order but mostly either we are passive or we do something which is leading to the disorder the natural acceptance is there very much here but still we are not able to act according to the natural acceptance because the right understanding is not ensured so this is the early stage of development of the self now when we are able to contemplate on the relationship we are mostly happy in our behavior sometimes we still feeling unhappy because the complete understanding is not ensured in work also we will see that we are sometimes prosperous and sometimes deprived and in our participation we sometimes contribute to the order but sometimes either we are passive or leading to disorder this is something that we have discussed now when the understanding and determination is ensured then here we can see that in behavior we are mostly happy or sometimes we can become unhappy in work also we are mostly prosperous but sometimes still feeling deprived and we are mostly contributing to order sometimes remaining passive but when the right understanding is ensured in completeness then we are able to realize the coexistence now with realization and authentication our right understanding gets complete we are able to realize the whole existence as coexistence we are able to understand the harmony in nature in completeness and we are also able to contemplate on the participation in the larger order in completeness and by this our block b2 is self organized and thus our behavior work and participation is mutually fulfilling every moment so we are able to see continuous happiness within oneself we are also able to ensure prosperity for oneself in continuity and we are also able to contribute to the larger order all the time so this is the completeness of development of the self now when this happens then we can see that on one hand we are able to realize the whole existence as coexistence within and this is there as continuous happiness in me so i am able to have bliss at the level of understanding satisfaction at the level of desire peace at the level of thought and happiness at the level of expectation and then my behavior work and participation is mutually fulfilling all the time and when it gets expressed outside it is there in terms of universal human order which forms the human tradition so this is the complete depiction of development of the self and its expression and this is something that we have been referring to from time to time so if you look at the yoga chitri content the resolution in the self and how it connects to human conduct so these are the nine components of resolution depicted in purple and like we can relate them to the activities of the self and its expression outside so 3.1 that is right understanding is to do with the development of block b1 activation of block b1 where we are able to awaken to the activities of contemplation understanding and realization wisdom is ensured at the level of desire so with contemplation of right feeling we are able to have the image of a happy and prosperous life in completeness and we are able to decide upon the signs in block b2 this is given as 3.3 and 3.4 3.5 and 3.6 are behavior work and participation in the larger order respectively and it expresses outside as undivided human society universal human order and human tradition isn't it so point number 1 that is continuity of happiness is here which we aspire for so in a single slide we can talk about all the components of resolution we can talk about the human aspiration so this is a nutshell of all that we have discussed while talking about the development of the self now having studied about the self we went to study the existence and we saw that the whole existence is there as coexistence which is expressed in the form of nature and we found that coexistence is ever present and what does that mean that it is there in all time in all space isn't it so everything that we see as a part of nature is submerged in space being in space every unit is energized that is active self organized and recognizing its relationship and fulfilling it similarly we could see that coexistence is ever effective and the principle of coexistence applies to every reality from smallest atom to the largest and to the whole nature isn't it and finally we could see that coexistence is ever expressing and it expresses itself as four orders of nature 
about which we studied. So the physical order, bio order, animal order, and human order. The physical order is you. So, in, so if you look at the physical order, it includes the units from atom to heavenly bodies. So all these heavenly bodies are there as physical order. In the bio order, we have units which are there as cells going up to the human body. If you look at the animal order, so we can see that the body is similar to the bio order. We also saw how coexistence is expressing itself in the form of nature in four orders. So there are four orders of nature, physical order, bio order, animal order, and human order. And these all orders are essentially an expression of the coexistence itself. We also saw that in the physical order, we have units right from atom to the heavenly bodies. In bio order, we have units from cells to the human body. In animal order, we saw that there is a self as well as the body and the self is awakened to the activities of selecting and testing. And when it comes to human order, that is us, we are awakened to the activities of selecting, testing, analyzing, imaging. And we have a need to know as well as we have the potential to know. And this all essentially, if you see, is an expression of the coexistence itself. Now going further, we studied the four orders of nature and we saw how coexistence expresses itself in the four orders in the form of submergence. So we could see that in the physical order, we have interaction, which is essentially the submergence expressing itself in the physical order. So further, we saw how coexistence reflects itself as submergence in all the four orders. So in the physical order, we can see that there's interaction. In the bio order, we can see that there is interaction as well as pulsation. When you look at the animal order, it is something similar to the bio order when it comes to body. And when you look at the self, we can see that there is sensitivity in the self. And in the human body, we can see that there is interaction as well as pulsation and there is sensitivity in the self as well as there is knowability in the self. So this is how the coexistence is expressing itself in the four orders. This is something that we had studied. Now with this, we took a look at the complete depiction of existence, how the nature is submerged in space. And we looked at all these details. In fact, we had looked at these details in which we too also, but now with a uh, better clarity of the self as well as the existence, we took a look at this. So the nature is there, which is collection of units. Every unit in the nature is limited in size is an activity in itself as well as active with other units. And every unit in the nature is self-organized, energized, and recognizing its relationship with the other units. Put together, this is called as submergence. When we saw the space, we saw that it is all pervading and it is unlimited. It is no activity. While every unit being in space is self-organized, the self-organization is available in the space. While every unit is energized, the energy is in equilibrium in space. And space is transparent and being in space, every unit is able to recognize the relationship and fulfill it. All these units are there in two forms. One is the material unit and the other is the conscious unit. All these material units are temporary. Their constitution keeps on changing. And they only have the activity of recognizing and fulfilling. When you look at the conscious unit, you can see that every unit is continuous. And there are four activities, knowing, assuming, recognizing, and fulfilling. Now, looking at the physical order, the smallest unit is atom. The atoms combine together to make molecules. And these molecules combine together to make molecular structures. These molecular structures could be in two forms. One is the lump and the other is fluid. The fluids uh, constitute the cell, which is the smallest unit of the bio order. These cells are organized to make a plant. The cells only organized to make the animal body and they also organized to make the human body. When the animal body coexists with the self, then it makes the animal order. Now, if you look at the self of the animal order, there is only activity of assuming, recognizing and fulfilling here. Now, the self, which also has the potential of knowing when it combines with the human body, it coexists with the human body, it makes the human order. Now, there we are as human order and we are working for right understanding when the block b1 and b2 both are activated it is called as activity completeness and that essentially means that we are able to awaken to the activities of contemplation understanding and realization 
and when we live accordingly right live with right understanding right feeling and right thought then our conduct is complete so we talked about human conduct conduct is the participation in the larger order and we looked at two models of human conduct so when there is conduct completeness then we can say that the development has taken place completely in the human being and this is essentially development isn't it and the development has to take place in the conscious unit this is another thing we can make out from here because every material unit is cyclic in nature there is a cycle of composition decomposition here even our body is there in a cycle the animal body is there in a cycle the bio order is completely there in a cycle and the physical order is there in a cycle and the cycle is of composition and decomposition but here we can see that it is something linear not cyclic and that's the only scope for development in the entire existence and this is what we are working for so when we say that self is central to human existence it essentially also means that it is the self which has to develop not the body body is merely an instrument this is something that we kept on reiterating throughout the course now we further saw what would activity completeness and conduct completeness mean so activity completeness means that the activity of realization is activated with this block b1 and block b2 both are activated and the conduct completeness means that we are able to participate in the universal human order making the human tradition and this is the complete picture of development of a human being and we have to see where we are placed right now to what extent we have been able to develop right now and what else is to be done isn't it it may be a long process for us but still this is something doable desirable and even achievable isn't it so if you look at the role of human being in this existence something that we called as human conduct so there are some important conclusions that we have been able to draw through our investigation till now we could see very clearly that human being is coexistence of self and body self being the conscious entity and body being the material entity so we saw that self is central to human existence body merely being an instrument the need of the self is continuous happiness which is fulfilled by right understanding right feeling and right thought in the self now we also saw that the existence is coexistence which is in the form of units submerged in space and we could also see that coexistence is central to existence and it is ever present ever effective and ever expressive we could also see that all that we see in the nature as four orders is merely an expression of coexistence isn't it so the coexistence is there at the base and with this we have all these four orders in nature existence can be understood by awakening to the activities of self both lower and higher put together so we are already awakened to the lower activities of imaging analyzing comparing selecting and testing and we need to be awakened to the activities of contemplation understanding and realization and this is the complete development of the self so in a sense if you look at the role of human being in this existence it can be uh, shared like this so human being has to understand the coexistence and to live in coexistence to understand the coexistence is right understanding to ensure the feeling thought of coexistence is resolution when you go to live in coexistence we interact with human beings and this is called as behavior when we interact with the rest of nature it is called as work and when we are participating in the larger order we are able to participate in the universal human order on that basis of feeling and thought of coexistence so to live in coexistence that is relationship with human being from family to the world family helps us participate in undivided society and to live in coexistence that is harmony in nature from family order to the world family order helps us participate in the universal human order and that goes from one generation to another generation making the human tradition so this is the role of human being now you can look at a personal level whether you are able to relate to this kind of discussion so are you able to see what would be your role in the society in the undivided society do you have some role to play in the universal human order and are you able to see that you have a role to play in the human tradition so as mentioned earlier to make it more expressive we can use the word coexistence harmony and relationship so we kept on using certain words like contemplation understanding realization and we also use the word of and also use the words coexistence harmony relationship isn't it so this would be certain takeaways from this course 
uh, you can try to contemplate upon these words the meaning of these words ponder over your role in your family in the society in the universal order and even in the human tradition so the role of human being in this existence is to understand the coexistence and to live in coexistence and to make it more expressive something that we can relate with easily we can call it as coexistence harmony and relationship in place of coexistence and in that case the role of human being in this existence is to understand the coexistence harmony and relationship and to live in coexistence harmony and relationship so put in brief we can use the word coexistence but if you try to elaborate upon it as we saw that we are able to contemplate upon relationship we are able to understand harmony and we are able to realize coexistence as we go on developing the self as we are awakened to the higher activities of the self so with this now we can recall that this is what we have been working for in exercises 1 and 2 and which is preparing our ground for exercise 3 we did not take up this exercise 3 in the present course but this is certainly a kind of preparation that we need to make to be able to do exercise 3 when we are able to when we try to observe the whole existence as coexistence so when we are able to see the submergence of nature in space that is the realization is awakened then authentication follows the realization which is followed by understanding which is followed by determination which is followed by contemplation and then imaging then comparing then analyzing then testing and then selecting so with realization our understanding gets complete okay and this completeness of understanding is an authentication of realization when the understanding gets complete we are able to determine very naturally when the understanding gets complete the determination also gets activated and then we are able to contemplate on our participation in the larger order in completeness with this our imaging gets complete we are able to image a continuously happy life we are able to image a happy life in continuity we are able to image happiness in continuity with this our comparing gets complete all the six bases of comparing are activated and now the comparing on the basis of sensation health and profit is guided by the basis of coexistence harmony and relationship with this the analyzing gets complete we are able to analyze how to ensure happiness in continuity now here if you see the testing also gets complete as the sensation based testing is now guided by goal based and value based testing and then the selecting is always in terms of participating in harmony participating in order so whether we are interacting with a human being or working with the rest of nature or participating in the larger order it is always in terms of undivided society and universal human order so within one self we are able to realize the coexistence and in our expression we are able to live in coexistence and that expresses itself as universal order that goes from one generation to another generation making the human tradition now when we say continuity of happiness it includes bliss satisfaction peace and happiness so when we have understanding based on realization this is the state of bliss when the desires get definite on the basis of understanding this is a state of satisfaction when the thoughts get definite on the basis of definiteness of desire it is termed as peace and when the expectation gets definite on the basis of definiteness of thought it is termed as happiness so this is the continuity of happiness what we are working for and this can be ensured in the self by the self you could also see that it is the self which is the seer which is the knower and ultimately the seeing has to take place in the self isn't it so this is one formulation of human conduct that we had discussed now this is just a revision of what we said earlier we can see how the nine components of resolution relate to the self and the participation of the self in the larger order going up to human tradition so you can see that the whole uhv3 content is about the resolution in the self and how it connects to the human conduct isn't it so when we are resolved within we are able to see our role in the entire existence which makes the human conduct so this was a sum up of the content that we had shared so far we we'll look at the remaining part of the sum up in the next lecture but you have a homework here for you so now the points for self reflection is whole of existence human being and role of human being in this existence 
so it is expected that by this time you are able to understand the existence at least you have a clear formulation at least you have clarity in your thought about the existence you have clarity in your thought about the human being and you also have the clarity about the role of human being in this existence and now you need to work to awaken to the higher activities of the self so as a self reflection you can take up this assignment so observe all your important decisions and try to find out the activity of the self which is primarily responsible for these decisions so you have to take so many decisions in life and try to make out on what basis you are going to take these decisions and from this observation we can rightly evaluate our current status of the self so to what level we have been able to understand the human being or the existence or the role of human being in this existence and you also see what are the efforts you are making to rise to the higher activities of the self similarly you can investigate whether you are able to observe the existence in all four orders or not also extend this to the realization of coexistence in space thirdly human conduct is reflection of our inner self to the outer world and try to find out whether we are able to keep this in mind while working outside so generally our attention is mostly outside it may be the case that after having done this course you are not aware to that extent which you could achieve in this course so this is also something to be taken care of and even when you are undergoing this course you can try to see what role you are playing with the outside world is it in terms of undivided society universal human order or otherwise so try to make it out so in today's lecture we summed up one part of the discussion that we had in this course and in the next lecture we look at the remaining part so this was all for the lecture today thank you